Oh, hello. You seem to have caught me in the middle of a mining expedition. Well, this is going to be episode four, so uh, sit back and enjoy the ride. Uh, I guess I better get back to showing you what I was, uh, what I was doing. Oh, iron. I do like me some iron. Alright, time to head back to the surface. I need myself a way to get up, but I just kind of like hop down. I think I might have stopped it. That's okay. That's why we have. Almost done. There we are. Back on the surface. Alright, well, if you recall our last episode, it ended with me standing right here, I believe, which was my spawn point. So, the things that I'm going to show you today are a little bit farther along. Um, I'll probably play this for about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, so this is going to end up being a rather long episode probably a good four or five parter or until i finish we'll see we'll see there's a couple other things i'd like to show you um but i suppose those kind of want to be separate episodes so we may get to a point and i'll just say you know what we're gonna call it a day anyway so what am i going to show you today well the uh oh hey wolf do i have any bones i want another doggy Hello, doggy. Who are you? I do. Let's see if one will do it. One rarely does, but we'll see if one does. <gasps> oh my god, it did! No way, sweet. Come with me. Y y you need to come here now. Come on. Come here. There we go. Woof, woof. Anyway, so as I uh, was building my secondary, or rather primary base, and well, it is the first one, I came to the conclusion, and again, this is before beds were made that I should probably build a road there. That way I could always find it. And so this is what this road this is what this is. I I discovered that the easiest point was right here to uh to spur off. Interestingly enough I've discovered that there's another back way to get to my main base, but this this is the road from spawn. And this was the first engineering challenge I hit, which was I had to cross a couple of inlets. So I made a causeway. So I kind of built it in the same way I built the other one. And, uh... I think it was uh, one of my first engineering challenges that looked really nice. I like it. Um... Took a lot of cobble, took a lot of, of gumption, but uh, again, I always try to make my, my constructs look very nice. So as you can see, or maybe you can't, these go all the way down. And this is something that's true with every bridge I make. I always make the pylons go all the way to at least the gravel layer or the, uh, the seabed so that it's engineeringly correct. Yeah, I know engineeringly is not a word. Here's the uh, another current project I'm working on. This is going to end up being a back way to... Um, this is a cave I carved out. A back way to my main base. But here is the first absolutely major thing I built. 
right here and it of course there we go that tells you how old this is <laughs> I started putting little tags on when I built the built the things um, this was right after I'd found my second base so yeah uh, I can't remember what version it was in at this point but uh, I decided to build a little suspension truss archway bridge right here so, and I, I was pretty stoked about this when I built it. This was just, just freehand. I didn't even try to do it uh, with a plan or anything. I just kind of like freehanded it. I, th I, I, I was really proud of this for a long time. Oh, by the way, it's called Gravel Bay because, well, it's gravel. So, yeah. The road itself is an engineering feat in of itself. Um, right here, I had to backfill a lot of gravel because this was a rather... Um, I guess the word's holy. You know, very pockmarked area right in through here. So I had to backfill a lot of gravel to get this road to work. The thing about these roads, though, is that you will notice that I don't have to jump. That was part of the whole idea of these roads is that it's smooth, it's smooth travel. And every so often I put a shelter along my roads because I know that if I'm, I'm walking along, it might be nightfall and I'm going to want some place to hide. So I go in here, I might have some extra items, I want to do a little bit of work while I'm waiting before I hit the sack. I have a nice little living area in some of these places. As you can see, got a nice little bedroom, place to sleep. It's pretty good. What the heck is my dog doing? Woof woof. Oh. Yeah, this is another. There are a lot of places where when I was building my road, I would mine, um, Really? I would mine uh, materials locally, so there were a lot of places where I just would just say, Okay, I'm going to dig right here. Woof, woof. What? I just had dripping water. Uh, yeah, that's probably the seabed. Yeah, it's the first time I actually took a dog down underground with me, so you're seeing a first. Again, I'm wasting time here showing you random mines, but uh I figure why the heck not. Oh, that's right, I had an obsidian mine down here. <laughs> Ow. How did I get back up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. There's, Probably other stuff over there. I'm not gonna go over there. Yeah, that's right. This was an obsidian mine. Ha 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 ha. I might want to mine some more of that out. Boing 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 boing. Hey, move. Yeah. All right, you may now continue. Boing, 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 boing. All right, back up to the surface. There we go. Here I have a bit of a boat launch, but for some weird reason that I haven't been able to fathom, every time I try to get the boat to stay here, it crashes and destroys. You gotta make a way for boats to not break so easily. So, yeah.
So here we have a fork in the road, and uh, the original path went like this. And I decided I was going to build like a little little uh, pier thing coming out into the water. And then I decided to build this thing here. And this dog is following me. Yep, go swimming. Have fun. This dog is following me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the uh, I, I built this this thing here. So there's sort of a dual bridge kind of thing going here. There's a there's a you can follow the water and there's a little little lookout point, scenic lookout. Check out all the awesome stuff. Spawn is back that way, by the way. Um, so yeah. Interesting little place by the seaside. Here's the other boat launch. And I, was, I figured I could go fishing out in this bay. Good place to go fishing. Guess what? Sit. Stay. Don't move. Yeah, good. Have fun there. We have some uh, food, extra bed. This is one of my other shelters. Oh, I got some glass here. I'm gonna take that with me. I'll take the glass. And the cobblestone. Don't mind if I do. And the bucket. Alright. Got a little place to sit. Check out everything. You know, it's awesome. Watch the painting. This was the first instance that I used glowstone as lighting. So that was that was one thing. Oddly enough, I did try very hard to make sure that that uh, I can't do what I'm doing right now, but occasionally I'm still able to do it. Worked a lot better when um, when I couldn't stand in the same space that the uh, fence post was in, but that's okay. Ouch. And this was out of a natural cave. I kind of bored through here, but... This little bit was sort of a natural overhang cave area. And I thought, you know, this is kind of a nice little area. I decided to uh, make a deck out here. Thought that would be a nice turn. And then we come to here. This was what I had to build to build what I would consider one of my biggest projects in this game. Um, I'm coming up to it, so I'm not gonna not going to spoil it for you. Uh, but I had to build cobblestone factories. I actually still use this on occasion. Hold on a second. 